episode here on 1950s Farm. So as you can see, a little bit of spare time has, uh, has been afforded me and uh, I thought we'd use this little bit of spare time from the dairy to uh, to get our own soya beans and we might not get them all harvested um, until it gets before uh, before it gets dark not until uh, before it gets dark but at least we will have made a bit of a headway start on them so that's one good thing and it kind of helps me along a little bit in terms of uh, my own work because obviously the priority is the dairy because you know that's who pay our wages but um, you know we, we also obviously have our own work to do as well so yeah we get the uh, as much of the soya beans harvested today as we can and then tomorrow I'm guessing first thing we're going to be on with uh, planting the field to my right and straight ahead uh, with the uh, wheat yes that's going to be a long job <laughs> and I've got uh, November 1 and November 2 to complete it so it might even be that in the end that field gets split up but I will try my damnedest to uh, to get it all drilled in time um, but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll see how that one goes <laughs> um, but you yeah, know I'm fairly hopeful i have still not decided whether I'm going to plough it or whether to uh, just drill it um, probably for time purposes just going to drill it uh, and then we'll have to spray it uh, when the weeds come through um, so it, it you know that's it's not too bad we'll be all right and uh, we'll uh, we'll certainly make a job of it that's for sure um, the other thing that I have uh, been uh, allowed to do from the dairy is I've been allowed that uh, if I want to I can go around with my baler and bale the one uh, swath of straw that uh, we uh, left with the combine um, because I plan on baling this this combine doesn't have a chopper anyway so I had to trail it no matter what um, but I still plan on baling it and I plan on selling the bales because um, for Harry's farm, you know, that was it in the very early days how he made his money sort of thing. So oh, I've missed a bit there. Um, so yeah, it's uh, a case of uh, we will be bailing and we will be selling. I might do the selling bit off camera just because the um, sell point is a very long way away. So it's going to be a long old track of me just driving backwards and forwards with look, six or whatever, eight bales or whatever it is that that trailer holds and um, you know there ain't no one got time for that <laughs> I'm gonna have to make time for it but uh, certainly don't expect uh, you guys to uh, go through it unless you want to go through it and then leave a comment and just say yeah you want to see me selling bales then I'll record it we'll do it as a time lapse obviously because as I say the bale sell point is the other end of the map uh, and on this map that's a very 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 long way away because it's a ginormous map um, <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a long way away but uh, as I say if you want to see it just let me know and uh, I will uh, record it but we're gonna need a tracker and trailer so I hope you're all having a, a good day and you're all well um, I've been uh, very very busy over the weekend and I'm not going to turn around in that gap over the weekend with this uh, with this save and Britons as well, but been mainly this save. I must admit this save does take up a lot of my time because of the size of the fields and sort of like you know between one and sort of three meter uh, equipment. But uh, I, I'm look you know I will say I am thoroughly enjoying this uh, playthrough. This is something that had I just been not doing YouTube and just playing the game sort of for myself I would never have done this um, it, you know it, it would have it's not something that I've sort of into um, and I'm but I'm into history uh, 
and I have to admit it was the history side of things that persuaded me to do this the reading about Harry Truman and him you know sort of uh, taking on if you like the responsibility of of feeding the world and and uh, you know sort of basically getting civilization you know back up and running again on an even keel uh, after the second world war which you know as we all know had not come too long after the first world war you know it's fair to say that i don't think europe and germany had ever really recovered from the first world war um and uh, you know and soon after the second world war broke out so as i say it was the history side of things that sort of grabbed my attention it was like oh, okay oh, this is interesting and then i just started looking up you know sort of you know what farms took up the offer you know what farm or what uh you know cause, i mean essentially it was families you know what families took up the offer what families are still farming today you know what families are doing what from where they started you know and uh, suddenly you can leave your, lead yourself down a real warren of information and different things and as i say i've, I've sort of kind of you know found the things that i found and thought yeah i'd like to do a series on that i think that would be really interesting i think that it would be really interesting for the younger viewers to kind of maybe appreciate and understand where we've come from i mean i grew up in you know the 80s i mean i was born in 81 and by 1985 86 probably 86 more really because i didn't have my operation until i was um until i was four so probably 86, 87 was when I started riding on the crawler with my granddad on his track Marshall crawler and started sort of, you know, riding on the uh, the, the, the sort of Dominator Combines Mark One, if you will. And, uh, you know, I sort of remember farming when it was smaller, uh, you know, when it was on a smaller scale. Um, and, you know, the farm that my granddad worked for that eventually I worked for you know, to, to think that what that farm was in the 80s when I was growing up to what that farm is today, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's amazing, you know, that how things do move on, you know, you sort of kind of, you don't really realise it until you hit 43 and you take your little boy out for a ride in the car over the weekend and say, oh, these are, this is the farm, you know, one of the farms that dad worked on, you know, this then dad got another job and went here and and i started to and we walked him round the first farm that i worked on because i'm still quite good friends with him and i'd sort of messaged them on friday and said you know can i take my little boy for a wander around the farm and he was like yeah of course you can um and i took him round and you know i mean it's 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 different again from when i left i mean i left in 2011 um and uh you know it's different again and and I think this this series has has helped to kind of, if you like, it's in some ways exacerbate the difference between, you know, the 1950s to the present day, um, and and just how much in such sort of sh ugh, just how much in such short space of time things do move on. You know, thing life does evolve and change and you know, I mean, let's say the 1950s, you know, we're not going to be long before we start to enter the Cold War era. Um, and, and, you know, how different life would have been had that ever have kicked off, you know. Um, you know, another place that I took my, not this weekend, but another place that I've taken my son to, is the Cold War bunkers on the North Norfolk coast and the uh, uh, watchtowers and places like that. And I mean, you know, it was a a genuine, you know, threat and concern. And it's uh, if ever you get the opportunity to go, uh, it's in Hemsby, I think it was. I think where I went. Um, it, if ever you get the opportunity to go, go honestly it's incredible you go into the old as i say the old cold war bunkers you go into the old cold war um uh 
uh, what would you call it, where they had like all the radar and stuff like that, um, you know, where they that they were able to kind of spy on Russia and to sort of give themselves a, a good head start should Russia have launched launch the uh, missiles or should uh, Russia, you know, sort of be heading over in the boat, sorry about my chair, um, uh, heading over in the boat, it's not a Sunday ride out, <laughs> heading over in the planes, to, <laughs> I can't believe I said that, um, so yeah, you know, very interesting, anyway, I've rabbited on way too long, and, uh, uh, and you know, I'm sure you lot must get bored of me just waffling um, at the beginning of my videos, so, um, We'll switch over to some music. I'll switch over to some time lapse, and uh, I'll see you uh, at the end of the video when he, either we're finishing off this field. I'm basically going to be harvesting this field until it gets dark. Once it gets dark, then you can't really see with these old equipment. They have got lights, uh, which I don't know whether they would have in would have had in 1950. Um, they may well have done. Um, but uh, yeah, the, but the lights, even so, uh, uh, <laughs> are not very good. So um, it's uh, you know it's not something that I could do anyway, which is uh, you know sort of carry on in the dark. But anyway, I'm still waffling, so uh, I'll see you after some music and time lapse. See you in a minute.
So we've got most of this veal done. We've only got a little bit now in the uh, middle here, which you can see, obviously. I always point out the obvious, don't I? Uh, <laughs> but so uh, yeah, we've got most of this veal done. Um, thankfully, it looks as if it's all going to fit in the silo. Um, I was a bit worried that it maybe wouldn't all go in the silo, but uh, it looks as if we're going to be okay. So yeah, it's gone very well, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get this bailed. Although the uh, the wheat field, I guess, is uh, going to be what takes priority tomorrow. Um, but hopefully there'll be some time after. Uh, again, it may just be a case of. We'll be working sort of in the uh, early, mid and late evening um, and then uh, trying to get a few bits done. That's if it doesn't rain. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow. If it does rain tomorrow or talk of rain tomorrow, obviously we'll be getting on with the uh, with the um, planting of the wheat still. But we might even be able to get a little bit of straw baling in as well. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to go and uh, bale the uh, the breed round the outside of the uh, field um, on the dairy so we're just going to have to concentrate on the bales on here but by the looks of things there's going to be quite a few bales I think um, so we're not going to be too bad to be fair so yeah but all in all it's gone very very well I was hoping to get the whole of this uh, combining into the episode um, but alas, the uh, <laughs> the uh, warning came up that um, my PC is yet again running low on memory. So I'm going to have to uh, end the episode here and uh, and uh, get the uh, videos converted, get them up onto YouTube, get them deleted, and then I can start recording again. Uh, but I will do this little tiny bit off uh, camera. I've done most of the the field uh, on camera so that you know I'm happy with that um, like I said I just wanted to get all of it on uh, in the episode if I could um, but I you know I just couldn't but uh, hopefully um, I will be able to uh, to uh, get things sorted um, I was contacted over the weekend because I don't know if you, any of you saw but I put a community post out last week I think it was like last Thursday or Friday um, saying you know that if I uh, moved my um, my uh, FS22 folder from my computer's memory well, from one memory over to my um, SSD drive would everything still work the same uh, and uh, luckily uh, Grain Man uh, got in touch if you haven't checked out his channel already go do so awesome content um, so go by all means and check out that channel because uh, as I say I very much enjoyed some of the videos on there uh, and he too is also doing the uh, 200 horsepower challenge on um, Carmelin's farm I'm fairly certain of that I'm now doubting myself I was absolutely sure until I said it and now I'm like mm, am I right uh, but anyway he got in touch and uh, hopefully I'm we're going to be able to find a way of of um, of doing uh, you know getting some memory freed up so that I can uh, record each full episode as I intend um, because as I say at the moment I'm having to cut too many short um, and it is a real problem and until I can sort of save the money to to get a PC um, you know with more than enough memory um, sort of looking at a PC I think which I'd be right in thinking that about sort of 32 to 64 gigabyte uh, memory should be more than enough um, as I say I know absolutely nothing about computers and stuff like that you know you put me inside a vent or a challenger or a John Deere or whatever you know combine tractor I could set it up and get it working absolutely perfectly for you you put me in front of a PC and I know how to turn it on, I know how to shut it down, and I know how to do the basics. <laughs> um, I, honestly, I'm even worse with mobile phones. Um, absolutely even worse with mobile phones. Yesterday I took my little boy out, 
um, and we were uh, sort of riding around the area looking at all the farm all the farmers that were um, forage harvesting and uh, <laughs> I, try, I got my uh, phone out I said to him I said we'll take some pictures I said and we'll do some video as well so we might even be able to get that up on YouTube I couldn't work out how to get my phone over from the camera to the, <laughs> to the video um, to record it so in the end we kind of got a couple of really terrible photos <laughs> and no video so um, yeah I'm, I'm technologically I love technology I think it's brilliant I think technology is you know is absolutely awesome um, but I'm buggered if I can use it <laughs> I'm uh, you know so I uh, I apologize for cutting these uh, episodes short uh, or a bit shorter than what uh, they were intended. I mean, we haven't got that much left over here. Um, um, to be fair, usually it is right towards the end of a field that the memory does start to go. Um, so, it, you know, I sort of, I'm not missing huge amounts out, but, you know, at the same time, I don't want to feel like I'm cheating, um, you know, you guys, because, I mean, you guys are good enough to watch and support and everything, and, I want to make sure that um, you know you're getting good value uh, of content, uh, you know, from me. And uh, so, uh, hopefully, over the next sort of week or so, because uh, I've got to try and figure out Discord. I, I it goes over the top of my head, <laughs> um, but I will try and hopefully sort that out, and then. Uh, I might be able to get somewhere but if I can get the FS22 folder and mods moved over I mean you're looking at about 30 to 35 gig that I'm gonna have available you know most of my videos come in between 5 and 7 gig um, so uh, you know I'm sort of kind of hoping that uh, you know that 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 will make a big difference that I'll be able to not only record full videos and full episodes of um, you know of each thing that I do, but also I'll be able to hold them on my computer for a little longer, um, and you know get other episodes on there as well. Um, but uh, anyway, that's all my problem, <laughs> uh, and uh, hopefully, as I say, we will get it sorted. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you ever so much for uh, joining me again. I've really enjoyed having your company. Thanks every, f thanks ever so much to everyone that has subscribed to me. Honestly, I can't talk today. Um, that has subscribed to the channel. Um, you know that I really do appreciate that as well. That really does mean a lot. And uh, yeah, we're cracking on towards 400 subscribers. I think we're at the time of recording this. I think I am if I remember correctly at uh, 328 I think um, so it's absolutely you know amazing and incredible anyway I've taken up far too much of your time I've waffled on for far too long I'll see you next time bye for now